Have you ever wondered how a book is made? Digital media completely upended music, movies, and the newspaper industries. It would be easy to assume the book industry was hit just as hard. However, every year, approximately 900 million books are sold in the United States alone. Printing facilities are publishing more than 400,000 books a day. Join us as we walk through the book printing process. Customers' print-ready digital files are uploaded via a portal, and their specifications are compared to the job details provided to customer service. After proofing, the files are printed onto lithographic plates, which are designed to accommodate 32 to 64 pages of the book. These plates are then inserted into a laser printer, where the coating is etched with the intended design. Subsequently, the plates undergo a cleaning process to remove any residual coating. The next step in building a book involves paper and ink. Lots of paper and lots of ink. The completed plates are fitted around cylinders. The paper rolls are loaded and run through a series of rollers and processes to capture the book pages. Once the pages are printed onto the paper, it is folded and cut to begin creating each section of the book, better known as signatures. After the different book signatures are created, they move into a staging position where the signatures are combined into a single book. These huge stacks of signatures are loaded onto hoppers. Each will be added in the right order to create a single book. Each book arrives to the binding phase. Here, the sections are glued to a cover. Before we take you any further, there's a few more important steps in the process we can't overlook. They say you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but you should because a lot of work goes into it. This cover can be either a basic soft cover or a hard cover. When making the cover for a case-bound book, the hardcover case side materials such as this one are used. This is the inside cover for all books. Then we create what's called a case that your book goes in. For book manufacturers, it's imperative that the cover looks great to the customer. There's a lot of detail that goes into it, including centering the cover. Paying attention to the quality of the product is key at all times in the bookmaking process, whether a book needs a basic cover or a more complex cover. In the binding of a book, there are two methods of attaching the outside cover. Perfect binding, which attaches a printed soft cover to the combined signatures, and case binding, which attaches a hard case to the combined signatures. In the perfect binding process, once the signatures are glued to the soft cover, the books are then cut and trimmed to make the final book. In the case binding process, some signatures may be stitched together in order to make the book more durable. This is sewing. When sewing a book, individual signatures are sewed together to create a book block. Certain books, like textbooks, go through more rigorous specifications in order to survive the school year. Hardcover texts would need a higher density board. Components such as paper and adhesives also have certain requirements in order to meet the standard. As a part of the case-bound process, end sheets are made by rolls of paper that are cut and folded. The end sheets are then gathered and glued down when binding a hardcover book. One end sheet is positioned before the front signature, and the other is positioned behind the last signature. As we end the web offset process, 
There's also digital print that focuses on shorter print orders for rapid replenishment of inventory. This product type can be manufactured on a single print and bind machine. This is a digital process. Everything comes in digitally. Files are submitted through a web portal, they are electronically checked and verified without human intervention, and the book is printed on what is referred to as a digital press. It's then bound and shipped out. Here at this digital bookmaking plant, a single order can be processed, printed, and shipped all on the same day. A digital facility like this one is good for running advanced copies, end-of-life titles, or to bridge the gap if inventory levels fall low. Here at this plant, they also run educational materials and smaller book runs. Customers can send in an order for just one product, one book, and they can produce that one book, whether it be case-bound, spiral, or soft-bound, and then ship it directly to the consumer. After the manufacturing process, a book is going to end up in a distribution facility like this one. Here, books will get stored, and then the warehouse will fulfill orders wherever they need to go. Here, the rushes are coming up. These are orders that the facility got in for the day. The orders will get sent to the pickers, who will locate the books and gather up the order into a single box. At this facility, there is about three and a half miles of conveyor that brings boxes from one station to another and link most of what they are doing. At this facility, orders will get fulfilled within 48 hours from start to finish. During all the steps, receiving, organizing, replenishing, picking, and shipping workers at this distribution center will touch the book five to eight times. These completed books will be received by people across the world.